Hi, Lillian. Um, daisies. And a chai, light water, no foam soy latte. Your favorites. Uh, so sweet, Henry. Oh, I... sorry, let me stop you there. Um, I'm not Henry. Uh, my name's Anthony. I'm Henry's personal assistant. Uh, it's a bit of a shock. Let, let me explain. No, I... yes, I mean, I'm not me either. I'm not Lillian. I'm Beatrice. I'm Lillian's personal assistant. Uh, wow. That is a relief. You know, most women that I've met right away is a red flag, but it shouldn't be. Henry is a great guy. He's a brilliant economist, just small talk, not so much. Yeah, Lillian's the same way. She's a successful entrepreneur, great boss, but she's useless with men. She has tried blind dating, online dating, matchmaking apps. It's just not her cup of chai. Henry should have been born in a place where people get arranged marriages. Yeah, it's the 21st century. Why shouldn't she use me? I do know Henry better than he knows himself. Hey, uh, Lillian's emails. Oh, yeah, that was me writing for Lillian. Yeah, she really does love daisies, though. I like sunflowers. Me too. I Writing for Henry. He's delegated everything to me. I'm to date for him, and if I find someone, I, I arrange a meeting. Me too. I'm supposed to find Lillian the one. Well, since we're both on the same page, should we see if there's a connection? Uh, you mean date? We keep our personal feelings out of it. We're professionals. This is strictly for them. And if it goes badly, we just end it. That is how dating works? For Henry and Lillian. <laughs> to Lillian and Henry, may they find a connection. Mm. So has Henry seen any good movies lately? Oh, Henry loves the movies, but uh, when's the time to actually go and see a movie these days? So I just send him short summaries on all the new releases. He really liked my write-up on Grand Budapest. Lillian and I, we love Wes Anderson. I normally send her the trailers. Usually all the best bits anyways. She's more of a visual learner. See, Henry's an avid reader, so I think he likes to picture the movie in his own way. Does Henry think he can direct better than Wes Anderson? He believes he can do anything he sets his mind to. Uh, except date. <laughs> no, I'll make sure to tell him all about it. I think he'd enjoy it. Well, that's pretty good. Um, this oh. is me. Well, um, Henry would have had a wonderful time. Uh, good night, I guess. I think this is the part where Lillian would invite Henry upstairs. Well, he would want to, but he wouldn't want her to feel any pressure. I mean, she shouldn't get any ideas. A girl has her limits. A guy will respect them. Well, then you can come up, so long as we both know where they stand. She'd like that. And then what if he... N no. More like... Oh, like this? Mm. Oh, answer. <laughs> How did this happen? I told you she was on a work trip. She met him on the plane. She wants to follow her heart. Oh, her heart? She doesn't know how hard we're working? Of course. She wanted this too. And what am I supposed to tell Henry now? Uh, she just updated her status online. Ugh. I'm sorry. Anthony, I know it's over for them, but do you still want to see me? What? Well, just because they break up doesn't mean that we have to. We said we were doing this for them. It'd be like seeing each other behind their backs. Plus, with Lillian gone, now I have to start dating women for Henry again. I can't do that and see you. Just, I thought we had a connection. We agreed to not let our personal feelings get involved. I can't.
can't. Was it, was it something you said? She said that, she said that it just happened. Oh my. I'm sorry, Henry, I, I tried. I really, I really put my heart in this one. Well, I, I suppose it just wasn't meant to be. Keep at it, Anthony. Maybe it's like they say, when, when you meet the one for me, you'll just know. Uh, Henry, there's, Lillian's personal assistant, um, I think I want to keep seeing her. But Lillian already told her to tell you to tell me that it's over. I, I mean, see her for me. I think dating her, I've found someone. I see. But how can you find someone for me if you're seeing someone for you? The truth is I don't think I can find someone for you. You're a great guy, but making a connection, that's something you have to do for yourself. Are you breaking up with me? I guess I am. Wow. Well, what am I going to do now? Just put yourself out there, Henry. I mean, in the end, it's... It's not me. It's... You. I'd, uh... I'd have coffee for you, but I don't know what you actually like. Half-calf mochaccino. So, um, how did things go with Henry? Henry will be finding his own dates from now on. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, what's changed besides you being unemployed? What if you were right? What if we don't? I just quit my job to find out. How do I know you won't hurt me again? That is how dating works. Okay, let's do it. So, what are you up to? I got no food in my house. I was gonna go get a coffee. Sure. Maybe, yeah. maybe we could eat. I can you Yelp a place. Yeah, um, if you could, because I don't know a lot of stuff here. So. Yeah. Do you have Yelp on your phone? Yeah, 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 totally. All right. If well, there's a good place. It's just around the corner. Man, okay, yeah, no, I've, I've actually heard good things about that. Really? Well, not good. I would break every rule I can, except those that could be banned.